I find graphic novels, the, the medium, really fascinating to work in because I can tell stories using both pictures and words. And I, I, I feel that when I was, um, I was, I was uh, five, about five years old, um, still, learning, you know, still learning English because I had just come here to the United States, and um, reading comics um, or, and, and looking at the pictures and then trying to align them with the words that, the, that came with them, I, I felt had a, a large impact in my reading comprehension at an early age. So um, I, I feel that um, comics were needed and there weren't that many comics for kids and that's one of the reasons why I started working on them. Oh, the new Harry Potter covers. Um, that was hard. <laughs> uh, it was really difficult, but it was it was a wonderful project. I um, I was amazed when I, I was chosen to to do to draw the covers. Um, I will say that um, I have never drawn so many drafts of anything in my life. Um, I like to tell people that I'm not. I don't think I'm the best artist around, um, but I'll definitely work harder than anybody else. Um, and um, and I and while I don't know how to do anything particularly well, I I think that I I I know when I see it. And so what I ended up doing was I in some cases I drew something like 130 drafts of the covers um, until it was right. And I think I think we we did a good job with it. And I, I think I think people are going to really like the covers. Honestly, I don't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> uh, my three-year-old will choose what he wants me to read, um, but I personally enjoy the Dr. Seuss uh, books the most, um, only because I get to perform them, and I, I really enjoy that. Um, actually, I enjoy all the books that I can perform for him. Uh, the ones with uh, too much text, actually, I, I you know, that's like almost. I know he chooses that because the chief chooses those books because he wants to stay awake longer. <laughs> So I, I try to choose the, the shorter, more entertaining, uh, easy to read aloud books, um, like my friend John Clausen's books. I really like his books too, um, but Dr. Seuss would be my, my pick. It was actually a soft tribute to the, um, uh, the kids in Newtown because it happened around that same time, actually. Um, and I, uh, it was that, um, plus I, I wanted to draw something that wasn't um, necessarily um, from, from my, my works. Um, I, I, I kind of wanted it to be something that stood by itself. Um, and so, I don't know, I, I felt that the, um, the, the, the piece uh, represents uh, these children finding some kind of solace in literature. Um, and it's like these, these kids going into this fantastic world that's a, just a happy, heavenly place. And I, I, I don't know, I, I thought it was a, it was a nice tribute because I drew it right around the time um, that, that uh, the, those events happened um, uh, in Newtown. And it was, uh, it, was, it was pretty affecting for me, I mean, as a, as a parent of two. So uh, that was why I, I drew that and not an amulet poster. But um, that's my story. 